What's up, you guys? I'm Demi Ramos. This is the Demi Ramos Show for Pop Dust. We are here in LA for the Bud Light Music Festival for the Super Bowl. I'm with Christian Zelder. We're about to check it out. Come with us. What's it like in Australia? What's it like to be here at the Super Bowl Fest for Bud Light? Um, yeah, good. I've not been to Australia in a long time, but I was just living in England, so. So do you think maybe the accents have crossed a yes, little bit? definitely, okay. yeah. <laughs> do we have any new projects coming out? Yeah, my single just came out yesterday with Goody Grace. It's called Rest in Pieces. No way. Yep, and I'm going on tour in the spring. That's Headline so cool. tour, yeah. What makes a better blonde to you? Well, just you are you are better blonde. I mean, you, I, I don't, you know, blue eyes probably, you know. It's so good to see you here today. It's yes. Super Bowl weekend. Everyone's excited, but we have to know, what do you recommend for the best hangover meal? I, I don't get hungover. <laughs> really? No matter no, what you drink? No, oh, no, no. Never. Never hungover. I sleep, I, it's not a meal. It's a, you know what? I think people want salt, fat, they want comfort, and they want... They want reminiscent. People want things that they that they understand. They they need a moment of you know they need consoling. I think a bacon mac and cheeseburger. A bacon mac and cheeseburger. A really good, a really nicely toasted bun, both sides. Perfectly cooked burger. Really nice mac and cheese, tender pasta, pickles, onions, tomato, lettuce. Got to have that. A good amount of cheese. Good amount of, seasoned correctly. And I think that, along with some, some crispy, crunchy fry, does this make you hungry? A little hungry, yeah, I'm a little hungry right now. And some cold ketchup. Well, it's gotta be cold ketchup. Speaking of cheese, my, the only thing I can make that I know how to make is grilled cheese. So I had to ask you, especially being the king of food, right. how do you make the perfect grilled cheese? It's real simple. I would say get yourself some Texas toast, some cheddar cheese, some processed American cheese, Toast one side of it, flip it over, drop your cheese on top of it, throw it in the oven or throw it in the salamander, throw it in the, in the broiler, let it start to melt, then close it up, and then to toast both sides. It's crunch all the way through, good mixture of really flavorful uh, uh, cheddar cheese, creaminess of the processed cheese, that's the way to go. Amazing, and you've been doing this for years. Ketchup on the grilled cheese. Come on. Oh, hell. Not on the grilled cheese. You have to dip in. It's you've never, ketchup. you've never done ketchup, grilled cheese dipped in ketchup. Oh, sister, we gotta, we gotta talk. I can only imagine you being like an eight-year-old kid, just making things up, whipping it up in the kitchen. How does it be? How does it feel to be where you are today on the blue red carpet? On the blue red carpet. Blue do they call it the blue? The do they call it the blue red carpet? Yes. Uh, very blessed. I'm um, here with my son, my right hand man, some of my good friends. Love the oh, love, love the Super Bowl, um, and this partnership with the Bud Light Seltzer team has been amazing. Their hard sodas. I'm this is my orange, which is my favorite, um, has been great. You know, they've we collaborated. We spent a lot of time. They put so much time and energy into making their flavors. They took that same time and energy to make this 60 second movie. It's not a commercial. It's a movie. It's the trailer to the Land of Loud Flavors, being that I'm the mayor of Flavortown. It is the trailer to what is to come. We recently saw on your social media, you had a message to the haters. You were like in your DMs. What's a message you can say to the haters or people on social media that are just like abusing celebrities and things like that? Here, no, you're not here, we're here. <laughs> and yet they're still watching the show. Yes. Yeah, so thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I love the accents. Where are you guys coming from today? Uh, we're actually coming from... All the way from West Hollywood. Yeah, West Hollywood and, <laughs> and the valley. And where is it you are? Too in the, far. We're in the valley, yeah. What's it like to be in LA today for the Super Bowl weekend? Terrible. The traffic's awful. <laughs> um, yeah. It's not even a sport that we understand, but it's fine. You know. How do you guys feel about the, the, the buzz that rock music is making a comeback right now? It's good. It's good for us. Yeah, we feel like we've been uh, we've been true to what we love to do for the last kind of ten years. So the fact that it's really that it's coming back elsewhere is fine. It's kind of good timing for us. Really, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, and um, 
it's, it's great for, for music in general. Absolutely. What are the new projects coming out? Anything that we can expect from you guys' new album? Yeah, we've got a fourth record coming out. Um, this year? This year, hopefully, fingers crossed. And yeah, we're going to start working on that uh, pretty much when we get back from this event. So about 5 a.m. this morning. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Super Bowl weekend. We know people party, we get lit. Who's going to get the littest? Like, who can we expect? I've been getting lit since Wednesday, Let's so go. I haven't slept. I haven't slept in four days or so. so. All right. Well, Are you excited to see Miley Cyrus? I'm very excited to see Miley Cyrus. Very excited to see Green Day. And it's cool that LA is playing in the Super Bowl as well. Who are you more excited to see? Kind of more excited to see Green Day. Whoa! I love Miley Cyrus. She's great. She's great. But why are you wearing green shirt? Green green shirt for Green Day. Sure. Let's go. Yeah. What's going on? We have Honey County. Hi. Hi. We're good. How are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You are a country duo. Yes, we are. And what is your mission with country music in the pop world? I mean, we just really hope that our stories are shared with other people and that they understand and they, they resonate with what we have to sing and what we have to say. Yeah. Also, being a duo, how does that dynamic work? Because I know it could be crazy. Like, who does what when you guys are in the studio? I am late with everything, <laughs> Always. so she keeps me on time. Um, yeah. Also, I make sure that she's fed because she's, I get hangry. she gets really hangry, so there's a <laughs> lot of really important roles that, that we do. Any new music coming? What can we expect for you guys? Oh, absolutely, yeah. We have an EP that's going to be coming out this year and a really exciting music video for one of our singles called Got It From My Mama. How are you doing today on Super Bowl weekend? I'm doing good. Excited to watch the game, excited to watch Green Day and Miley Cyrus tonight. We know that we're expecting a new album from you. On March 11th. Took March me a 11th. Remember. And Just Us Two. Just Us Two. That's my new song that just came out uh -huh. two days ago. Amazing. Wait, yes, two days ago. That's what it was. What is this song about? Who is this song about? It's like a dynamic, groovy, funky love song. It's about her over here. Jack, come here real quick, please. So this is who Just Us Two is about. It's about my, my lovely girlfriend, Jacqueline <laughs> Anderson. And where did you two meet? Through our friend Jay. <laughs> how, how do you guys handle career, relationship? I know it's crazy, you're an artist. How do you guys handle that? I mean, I just kind of, he I love him, he loves me, and like we support each other. So anytime there's any drama in the world, we just kind of have each other's back. So it works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's always fun to meet the muses of the songs. You know what I'm saying? Well, when he came home and showed me the song, I was like, you wrote a whole song about me? Oh my god! And then I showed her the other half of the album about her and she was like, Uh-oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, then I was like, oh, another song about... No, I'm kidding. I always love them. <laughs> also, you have an amazing album. skin. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's perfect. Well, okay. So do you, though. Oh, I gotta make them on. Girl. <laughs> and you have amazing skin, too. And you have yeah, amazing you skin, really Christian. Do. Look at your skin. <laughs> Looking good. You got no pores. No pores. <laughs> How summer? She is so good. Really? Yeah, she is the best. She What's it like being a mom? It's such a blessing. Honestly, she is such a good baby. We are so blessed. And I was just saying, like, I can't remember life before her. I don't remember what I used to do to fill my days. Because now it's just, it's her. She's everything. And how did you guys come up with the name Summer? Like, that's so cool. So for me personally, I was a huge Rachel Bilson and the OC fan. So that was her character's name on that show. So I've always liked that name. But I, you know, I wanted to have the namesake for my daughter. So my eldest daughter is Winter and I call my younger one Summer. So they could always have that connection. Can we expect the four seasons? No, no. I, don't, I don't get that creative Bye. and that means more, you know? How you doing today? Thank you. I love your sweater. Where is it from? What are you wearing today? I'm wearing a little Versace with a little Versace shoe. Oh. And some and an arch and some ing. Not a bling, not a watch, but an ing and an arch. Really? Do you dress yourself or do you have a stylist? So I have a stylist, but she had to go home this week and I just I just didn't see her this week. So it's all good though. Shout out your stylist. Shout out your stylist real quick. I want to shout out my stylist to Shaniqua all the way. In, uh, not Virginia, because that's where I live. In Florida. Kesley, it's good to see you. I'm from Pop Does. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. How are you? You look gorgeous. What are we wearing? Well, I got this on sale at Macy's. Let's go. Macy's. Oh my god. And these shoes are shoe dazzle. What does it feel like to be back in the groove of things? Well, it's crazy because like I started writing in 2020. 
I had some of my shit stolen. I didn't have anything to do, anywhere to go. And one of my friends was like, record with us, write with me, like, let's put some shit together. So I did that and that kind of like snowballed everything. And I got on TikTok and like, now I have a whole team and I'm like doing it, you know what I mean? Did you make anything that you're wearing today? I did not make my top. I didn't make my pants or my shoes, but I did make this pearl necklace. I did make this pearl necklace right Whoa. here. I do make a lot of jewelry. I've done jewelry for Cardi B, Rihanna, Pete Davidson, a bunch of cool people wear my jewelry. But this is like not like too crazy. This is just like a basic little piece that I put together. Amazing. But yeah. And how did you, the outfit is amazing. Cool. Oh my God. Thank I actually switched together. outfits yeah. because I bought something today that was just like wacky. Cool. And then this is the last minute yeah, thing. You it. You thank you so much. Fire. So where did it start with you with making jewelry for all these people? I mean, how old are you when you realized that this was a talent of yours? Oh God. You know, it's funny. You kind of just figure things out in life. Like things just happen, you try, you try, you try, and things just randomly worked out with me. But I was literally just making jewelry in my apartment alone, buying supplies in the jewelry district. And it literally like the first main collection I ever made, Rihanna wore it in like the first month. So I kind of got lucky, but also too, like I just, I work hard, you know? Manifestation is literally everything in life, guys. If you do not believe in yourself, it's not gonna happen. Some things might happen, but unless you truly feel it in your heart and you believe in yourself, nothing's ever gonna work. But honestly, I always told myself that shit's gonna work. I'm always gonna make things happen. Any big celebrity I've ever wanted to dress or like make jewelry for, I thought in my head over and over and over and literally every single time it comes true. And even just being on the carpet today here, like I've manifested all this shit for years. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that's worth it. No, that's amazing. No, you can curse all you want. Do you believe, is it a secret? Have you read the book, The Secret? <laughs> no, yes, yes, I have read the book, The Secret. And um, at the end of the day, like you can read that book and get inspired, but it still takes you as a human being to actually legitimately manifest that and legitimately think in your head that this is going to come into fruition. Who you want to be in your life, it's up to you. You have to believe it, though. You have to literally believe it and think you are who you say you are. Thank you so much. That was the most inspirational interview we had on the carpet. Manifestation. Well, you guys, this was the Demi Ramos show. We are here at the Bud Light Super Bowl Music Festival. And thank you so much for watching. This is Olivia. Olivia. We love Olivia. And shout out to the whole team and the crew and Christian and Pop Dust and Jordan. And let's go Super Bowl. See you tomorrow.